Don't judge me, Bert. Quit looking at me like that. I had to test. I mean, I guess it didn't say it was kiss proof, but I had to test. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Things in Makeup. Today we have the September Ipsy, Ipsy Glam Bag. Uh, I think I have the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. I have the refreshments refill and some add-ons that I got. So yeah, let's look in and see. Basically, I have, I have a lot of things here from Ipsy. Let's just go ahead and get started with the refreshment since it's going to be really quick and easy. Um, now I do believe that the first one was like $5 and you got the razor. Um, I signed up for the razor one. Um, and you got the actual handle for free. And then these are just the refills. Um, and I think they're $10 a month. Now I did go ahead and cancel this one only because I don't shave as much as Ipsy thinks I should shave. Maybe that's like an unpopular thing, but um, yeah, I, I don't need more than two razor heads a month. Um, it's actually too, too many because <laughs> I don't really shave all that much, um, but I am trying it out. I'm, um, so I'm going to give a review on that at like the end of the month. Um, since I really just kind of, I'm in the middle of a move right now. So I just kind of started using them about last week. So I'm going to try them out, see how long the, uh, the razors last, give you guys kind of like an honest review. Oh, and by the way, say hi to Bert. Bert is our spooky ghost who will be here as long as I can convince my boyfriend to allow me to keep him up because I love spooky season. Anyways, let's go into, I think this is the actual um, Ipsy Glam Bag and Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. Um, I probably should have had the prices pulled up. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me just break those up real fast. Okay, so the Ipsy Glam Bag is $12 every month. The Glam Bag Plus is $25 a month. And the Glam Bag X is $55 quarterly. Now I don't get the Glam Bag X. And this is the first Glam Bag Plus I've gotten in quite some time. Now I've been getting the, the regular glam bag for a little over two years now. Um, but I really like it because it gives you sample products to try out. Sometimes you get full size products in there. Um, basically it's just, it's a nice way for someone like me who is just now getting into foundations because I've got really dry skin. I have psoriasis and sometimes it's on my face. Um, and right now I'm dealing with a couple spots, which you'll see in the try on video for elf. Like I almost cried because I was just so sad. Um, but anyways, um, so I like getting the samples because I would much rather keep trying things every now and again, or once a month or whatever, see how my face reacts to it. See if there's anything good that I can, you know, tolerate and then go buy it full size rather than going out spending God knows how much because makeup is not always cheap. Um, and just cause it's cheap doesn't mean that it's good. It doesn't mean that it's bad either. I mean, there's some things that I've come across, but, um, it's still very hard for me to go and be like, Oh, well, of course this is going to look good while I'm here. I've got a professional putting it on my face or they're going to know what to recommend or they're going to try and sell me high end stuff. And I just can't afford that. Um, unless you like, and subscribe, like subscribe, ring the bell, do all the things. I'm trying. 
Oh, okay. So this must be the Flam Bag Plus. Yes, because it comes with a drawstring bag. This is actually like super, super cute. Um, let's see here. I do believe that you can customize your bags. Um, but I don't, I don't remember what I picked if I could pick. Um, so let's see, work school, back to work school life. So September, 2021 gives us a little card here. Uh, Okay, so the first item is the Il Maquillage Color Boss Squad uh, Multi Dimensional Eye Color Quad. So it's probably an eyeshadow palette. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, I've heard really great things about this brand. Um, so I definitely wanted to try them out. Let's see here. How does this work? Okay. So it looks like this Ooh, blinding you. Um, and <laughs> I could not figure out how to open it here. It just pops open. Ooh, those are some really, really pretty shades. They're they're actually more berry than they're appearing um, in my monitor there. So let's see here. Oh, they're very creamy. Get a couple swatches here. Let's see what happens. But that's what the shades look like. There is a light purple right here. It's very, very light though. Um, but it's definitely buildable, but that is just stunning. Oh, I can't wait to play with that. Look at how that one shifts. Like, oh yes. Very, very, very excited. It's like a, a brownish greenish purple shift is the darker shimmer. Oh my gosh. These are just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colors. Okay. And then next we have Aceology overnight lip mask, exfoliating, hydrating, and smoothing. So that's what the package looks like. So it's just comes in a little squeezy tube. Okay, the next thing I got is the Big Blush and Brighten Marbleized Blush in the shade Tropic Hues. So there's packaging for that. That's a very pretty color. I think a long time ago I got one of these in a boxy charm. So I'm not going to swatch it until. I can go through my blushes and make sure it's not one that I already own. Um, because if I do already own it, I'm going to go ahead and pass it off. Um, probably to my mom. She really loves blush and hasn't really treated herself to anything new. So ma, if you're watching, you might be getting a blush. Next we have from dragon beauty, the dragon glass matte liquid lip. So it comes in a really cool, I don't know if you can see the texture on that but There it goes. But oh, it looks like little dragon scales and it's just so pretty. And it is in dragon blood. <gasps> oh my God. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh, now that's a red. That is a red. It's funny because I was just going through some makeup I had here and I was like, oh, I could do almost like, oh, and it smells, it smells like birthday cake. Um, oh, red. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to put that on. 
Oh, I have to put that on. Oh, oh my gosh. Like, oh. I'm so excited. I don't know what it is about red lips, but man. Oh, and it's, I can feel it drying down on my hands. It's kind of doe foot applicator is like kind of unique. I haven't seen one like that before. Okay. Let's see if I can do this without screwing it up and having it all over the place. Guys, look at this color. Oh my, one, one dip. That was it. One dip. Living for this. It's a little deeper in person. It looks like a blood red on camera. It's very like bright red, but it's definitely got more of How do I describe that? I guess it would be cool tones. Um, it has more blue in person. Oh, that is just beautiful. Beautiful. Feels great. Um, it went on real nice and soft and it's starting to dry down now, but I mean, just look at that coverage. One swipe. I'm going to try taking it off my hand here and see. Yeah, we have a little bit of red stain. Um, but that's okay. I mean, with this kind of red, you almost expect that it was on my hand. So, um, but yeah, just, you can kind of see where it was. Like I said, it's drying down still. It feels good on the lips. It doesn't feel like my lips are dying for moisture at least not yet anyways i mean i did just put it on so let's see what else i got and the last thing i got is by nabla cosmetics it is the shine theory lip gloss and look at this look at the packaging on that like these are just so beautiful and this is in the shade renaissance so Look at that. I mean, just look at that packaging. It's beautiful. It's got little like flecks of gold in it. I don't know if it's real gold or anything, but like it's a very glittery. Oh yeah. The camera's picking that up. Very glittery kind of gloss. I don't want to put this on yet. Maybe I'll put this on towards the end of the video. Um, because I really want to see how this feels because sometimes like they feel really good in the beginning, give them 20 minutes and they suck. So I just want to see how this matte lip like dries down because it feels like, I mean, it's not sticky. I don't know. No, it is definitely not transfer proof, <laughs> but, um, yeah, we'll see if that dries down any further. And if not, that's fine. I mean, it's just, it's a beautiful shade. Absolutely stunning. And that was it for my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. Um, so just to recap, we got the Nabla lipstick, or the Nabla lip gloss, the Dragon lipstick, the Laura Geller blush, the Il Maquillage palette that I've already got fingerprints all over and the Aceology overnight lip mask. So, I mean, that's, that's a pretty hefty bag. I mean, I think the, the dragon beauty lipsticks, I think these alone would cover the cost of the bag. So like one lipstick for the cost of the bag. I could be wrong, but for this lipstick alone, I know it's pretty close. If these aren't 20 bucks, 
I would be shocked. Like, this packaging is just to die for. Like, oh, love it. Okay. Hi, it's me on a different day. Why? Because I didn't wait for my Ipsy clam bag to come and I was very impatient about it. So yeah, it just got here. So I'm going to go ahead and record this segment and then we'll return you back to the glam bag plus. Okay. So here's what the bag comes in uh, for the Ipsy glam bag. Now these are $12 a month. Okay. Now I did get a couple add-ons. Um, I know I picked out a couple with this one. So I'll have to see what's an add-on and what is actually with the actual bag. But this is what the little bag looks like this month. It's very cute. Kind of matches the big glam bag. But this is really adorable. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, so for September, let's see here. Okay, so before I look at the card, I just want to look at the products here. So the first one I have here is the Origins Original Skin Matte Moisturizer with Willow Herb. So that's what it looks like. You get a pretty decent size sample, I guess, to at least try it out like a couple of times. Now for the full size, which is 50 milliliters is $38. So it says oily skin types will love this moisturizer. The lightweight cream hydrates improves skin tone and texture, minimizes the appearance of pores and helps control oil production with willow herb extract. So your skin looks nice and matte throughout the day. Okay. So that was the first item. The second item out of the bag is going to be, let's see here. Lower East Side Eyeshadow. Okay. And it just, it's the City Chic, City Chick palette, City Chic palette. Depending on how you say it, that's what the packaging looks like. And then it's just a nice little, little quad here, which I really, really like those tones. It would be super easy to do a quick eye look with that. Let's go ahead and get a couple swatches here. Sorry if my camera's bouncing around. My cat has decided that he wants to be my best friend right now. So that is what the four shadows look like. Very nice. Very pretty. It'd be an easy, easy, easy eye look. Bust a couple things and just go out the door. So the full size of this would be $19 which isn't bad for a quad. I mean, especially when, you know, Charlotte Tilbury is selling quads for like four times that amount. Okay. The next thing out of the bag here is from Pure Lease. It's a Radiant Glow Illuminating BB Cream SPF 30 Oil-Free Moisturizing Natural Looking Coverage Illuminated Finish for Normal Dry Skin Even Sensitive. So there's just a little little tube there from Perlice. Now this tube is seven milliliters and the full size would be 50 milliliters or no, would be 40 milliliters for 35. Um, so this multitasking BB cream is made for hectic mornings. A few drops gives your skin dewy natural looking coverage and protects it from pollution and UV damage. The tiny light reflecting pigments make skin look so soft and luminous, no filter needed. The shade light medium is what the shade is for that one. Hi buddy. My cat's right here. He's helping me film. Okay. So the next thing out of the bag then is from hip dot. And this is, I guess it's in the shade golden hour. Oh, it's a single highlighter. Okay. So, ooh, that's pretty. So this is what the packaging looks like. I didn't even show you guys. And it's a really nice size pan in there. Ooh, it's so creamy. So I don't know. That's the, the highlight shade there. It looks like it's more of a golden highlight. It looks really pretty and it would actually work with this quad like really well for like an inner corner highlight. 
Oh, yes. Loving it. Okay, so the full size would be $24 for that highlighter. Okay, and then the last thing in the bag would be a, what is this, a Shop Miss Glam. What kind of brush is this? Eye Blender, right? Eye Blender M15. So this brush retails for $19. So it's just a, you know, cute little blender brush. I you can never have enough brushes. My boyfriend disagrees. He thinks I have plenty, but that's just another blender brush. And then I did get a couple add-ons here. Um, I got the Araceli Gel Pencil Eyeliner in Navy. Um, now the reason I, I got eyeliner pencils was my, actually, I think these are all, yeah, these are all eyeliner pencils from Araceli, Araceli. Um, I got Navy Sangria and Gold because I don't know if you watched my previous videos, but, um, yeah, my daughter decided that, Ooh, that is, that is nice. It's just, a you know, sharpenable gel eye pencil, but it went on super easy. It's very creamy. Um, I'll swatch all of these. This is what the sangria pencil looks like. But yeah, my daughter decided that all of my eyeliner pencils, um, look like coloring pencils. So she destroyed all of my eyeliners. So, um, but yeah, there's, I don't know. There's whoop, there. We'll crane my hand. Maybe I can, ugh, I don't know why I did it there. But anyways, there's all three colors, the navy, sangria, and the gold. They all went on very nice, very creamy, very, very beautiful shades. So sorry while I aren't crane my hand here like that. Oh, yes. Very beautiful. Okay. And now back to the Glam Bag Plus. These are just all add-ons. So these were add-ons. Let's see here. It was the Pretty Pastels bundle, which was the Dominique Cosmetics palette. I believe this was her holiday. Yeah, I want to say this was her holiday launch last year um sweater weather yeah and then it was complex culture deal closer tinted lip cream and dusty rose so there's that and i'll open them all up and do some swatches here um Ciate london fierce flicks so this is a, I want to say liquid eyeliner, but it does not say on here what it is. I'm going to guess liquid eyeliner. It looks like a black liquid eyeliner. Um, a Shop Miss Glam Precise Powder Brush which is this, which you can never go wrong with a powder brush. And then Sugar Cosmetics Contour De Force Mini Blush in Peach Peak. So there's that first one. And then the second one, okay. And then the other one came in this little baggie here. And it looks like a Huda Beauty yeah, it's the Mauve, Mauve Obsessions palette, the Lip Contour and Trophy Wife, uh, the Demi Matte and Catwalk Killa, and Demi Matte and Boss. And for both of these sets, it only cost me $35. So that's why I was like, yes, I will try that. Um, I've gotten Huda Beauty before. I love the little quads, or not the quads, the nine pans that they have. Um, so 
But yeah, let's take a look at some of these. So this is the one in Catwalk Killa. It looks like it's a little like mauve lip, very neutral mauve. Um, I'm not going to get these out and swatch these right now because I don't know that I'll wear both. Um, but that's the one in Boss that's more of a burgundy, darker. That one actually looks really pretty. Um, but yeah, I don't want to open those because I already have a demi mat open. And I want to try it again before I open these. Because if I don't like that formula, I'm not going to like these. Um, ooh. Ooh, now that lip pencil. Now that shade looks really pretty. Yeah, let's, I'll use that. That's for sure. Ooh. Super creamy. Beautiful color. My camera is not doing it justice. It is like a purple, it's a, it's a darker mauve purple, like, oh, it's just, it's beautiful. That would look, it's in Trophy Wife. I don't know if I said that or not, but it's in Trophy Wife. I have a, a funny story about Trophy Wives that maybe if I get enough uh, interaction on this, I will, um, go ahead and tell that story but just looked over I have lipstick on my teeth that's such a shame this is such a pretty color let me get this off my teeth and I'll be right back well now that it's off my teeth I um yeah can get back to the video Anyways, so the Mauve Obsessions palette, almost positive I have this one, but it's a color scheme that I like, and I also know that my mom would like it. So that's what it looks like if you've never seen it. Again, I'm not going to stick my fingers in it because I'm pretty sure I already have this one. And if I do, um, maybe I'll do a look with it. I'll shop my stash and stuff. I have so many eyeshadow palettes. Um, it's crazy. So I'll make sure that I have it or don't have it first before I'll stick my fingers in it. Because if I already have it, I'm going to give it to my mom. Christmas time. Yay for sales. Anyways, I don't even want to talk about that yet. Bert and I haven't gotten a chance to scare the children. We, we need to have spooky season first. <laughs> Anyways, so on to the second bundle, the Contour de Force mini blush and peach peak. Okay, let's see here. Ooh, it had its own little plastic. Ooh, now that is a pretty, pretty peachy shade. I like that one. Ooh, and it's nice, nice and creamy. Very, very nice. Ooh. Yeah, it's kind of like a cool tone pink. I'm trying to get it to build up here. Is it there? Right there. It's more pinky in person, more peachy, I guess, than it is on camera. But yeah, it's, oh, it's so pretty. So, so pretty. It has a little bit of a sheen. Um, so I would say it's probably got like a satiny finish to it. And then I'm not going to open the eyeliner, um, just because I already have a liquid liner open. I don't want to open another one and have it go bad before I get to finish the other one. I don't really use a whole lot of liquid liners only because I'm not very good at them. Um, anyways, this is the deal closer tinted lip cream from complex culture. There's that six and oh, rusty rose. Okay. Ooh, now that's pretty. So 
see these are my kind of lip colors like I love the really dark geez there's the doe foot it's a little weird it's kind of hard to get out of there though I wouldn't want it to like splash all over me but oh this is literally just a a gloss it looks so much deeper and thicker but it's this one there it would actually go really nice with that lip liner put that lip liner all over the lips and top it with this it would look really nice did I miss the fact that it was like a tinted lip cream okay all right so it is just supposed to be slightly tinted I guess but that's pretty I would definitely wear that with that lip liner like Put that liner all over the lid and put that. Be beautiful. Oh, I'm so excited. And then I wanted to get this palette so bad when it launched. I thought it was the cutest color scheme. This is the Dominique uh, Cosmetic Sweater Weather. And I just, I couldn't afford it at the time. And um, yeah, there was just no way but oh it's so pretty yeah this i just i love that and it looks like they're all mattes like i just think that is such a beautiful color story oh probably gonna end up passing it off to someone else because again i have so many other palettes that i love and, but then again, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I might have to keep it. I might have to keep it. Either way, this is so beautiful. And I'm so excited to like finally own it. Because again, I thought it was going to be bigger. Like their Dominique Cosmetics usually has like really large palettes, right? Like I thought they were like huge I don't know. Maybe I missed the reviews on this one and it being itty bitty. It's a little. But that's okay. With all matte shades, you don't really need anything ginormous. Like, I've never panned an eyeshadow in my life. So, but yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll see how that goes. But, anyways, that was all of my stuff. Um, yeah, so that was my glam bag plus the add-ons that I had ordered and the refresh kit, um, which is just razor blades. So let me know what you guys thought. Did you get any of the same thing? Did you jump in on any of those sales? And yeah, so just hop in the comments. Tell me, what did you guys get? What did you like? What did you not like? Do you think I'm a fool? Does this red lip look ridiculous like maybe I love it and I'm gonna keep it on and I love it beautiful um it might be a little much with my very green eye look I look kind of like Christmas right now with you know Bert hanging out in the background don't get mad Bert it wasn't intentional I was testing out the mini mint palette from Elf don't get mad at me okay Anyways, we'd like to say here that we hope that you continue being a beautiful, unrepeatable miracle, and I hope you have a wonderful day being a bum. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. I am going to try putting videos out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And yeah, I hope you have a glorious day. Bye now! Now let's see if I can get this red off.